data protection are more relevant now than ever before. Consumers and individuals are more aware now of the amount of information that is being collected about them and being processed. They understand there are huge benefits available as a result of this data processing, but they also want to ensure that their information is protected. So it is more relevant now than ever before. It becomes more relevant every day. If you look what companies do, but also what governments do with our data, we're, we, we're in need to get our power back over our data. Data protection is more relevant today than ever because we're creating more data, we're sharing more data, more data is being collected about us. Even as we move through the world, we, we create data that is sucked up and absorbed and used without our knowing it. So it's really important that there are authorities there, that there are rules that ensure our data is protected and is subject to some controls. I would like to contribute to um, raising public awareness on the um, Data Privacy Day and um, also um, uh, contributing to uh, cross-border um, uh, enforcement cooperation. And also I'd like to contribute to safeguarding privacy more effectively. It's more than ever relevant because the uh, expectation from our citizens is really to have these guarantees about their privacy. It doesn't mean they want no longer to have their data online, but they want to control and to make their individual choices. So I think privacy and data protection is really in the news, in the reality. My message for Data Protection Day is a message to industry. I believe industry is now, again, more than ever, competing on privacy. I would like to see companies differentiate themselves based on their privacy enhancing practices. I would like to see the advertising industry, ad networks, the analytics firms be more transparent so that they can provide to consumers the trust that consumers want in industry. Data Protection Day is really important. We all have busy lives, so it's important to take an opportunity to sit and reflect on what's happening with our data. And Data Protection Day gives us that opportunity. So my message is, take a moment and think about what you're sharing on social media. Think about who you're engaging with. Is the companies you're dealing with got a good privacy policy? Are you satisfied that you're being careful about the data you're sharing? think about these things, then maybe you can relax again for a couple of months. And my message would be that um, as the Working Party 29, we are in the starting blocks to implement the new regulation from uh, January onwards. And uh, we will develop all the new tools, all the new processes that we need to implement the regulation. Be aware of your data. It's your data and you need to be in control. And that's the main message we need to get over on the 28th of January anyway. In Japan, um, uh, as a um, privacy scholar um, over half a century and 50 years, I propose to um, celebrating the Data Privacy Day uh, in Japan. And one of uh, a privacy related organizations began to celebrate it on 28th January uh, a few years ago. EDPS is an essential partner of the International Conference. EDPS provides the assurance that the European institutions are practicing what they preach, that they are ensuring that the uh, data protection rules are followed and they provide some connection to an organisation like the International Conference to the whole of Europe. So they're an essential partner. At most importance until now, to get ourselves together in, in what's called the Working Party 29, so that's the European Data Protection of, uh, Authorities together, and I think it will continue doing so. Be there, help us. Be in Brussels more than anyone else and, and help us uh, to convey the message Privacy is of utmost importance. Yes, he's part of our European community and uh, also he's uh, bringing support to the future of the ODPB. So we are going to work closely with the uh, ODPS team to build this ODPB. 
I, I have been uh, watching uh, the activities of uh, the European Data Protection Supervisor uh, for more than 10 years, and uh, I appreciate uh, um, his uh, playing very important roles uh, in the world. And uh, I would like uh, to cooperate with the European Data Protection Supervisor today and tomorrow. The European Data Protection Supervisor has a key role to play in bridging the gap and the divide between Europe and, frankly, the United States. EDPS has always been led by intellectual powerhouses, Peter Hustings and now Giovanni Buttarelli, and I know that they believe strongly in ensuring that there is strong cooperation between the United States and Europe, and they, and Giovanni in particular, has a key role to play in this effort.